Hi there and welcome back. The horde of the black sheep and our new sultan, Pir Budak, the first of Karakoyundu, the sinner. And we interpret him as a sinner in a neglecting stance. He has been marked as a sinner because he's focusing so much on administration and the world, the worldly power, that he um, has been marked by the churches as someone who doesn't care too much about faith, who will maybe use faith to advance his own goals, who may use whatever he can to increase the treasury and the well-being of the state and will ignore faith as a being of faith. He will use it as a tool for power and that's why he's a sinner. And what he wants to do is not denounce sect practices or enforce religious unity that's probably not what he's going for. On the other hand, if he's using his uh, faith as a power tool, he might as well denounce sect practices because that will bring the state forward. So he's a sinner because he's using that as a power tool. Will he enforce religious unity? Yes, but only for his own goals. Will he improve prestige? Of course. He wants to improve the prestige of Karakoyunlu. Because uh, his father often failed in that. Only in the last time when he tried to go for the expansion towards Persia was he successful in recovering the prestige and Persia is also a thing that now looks accessible maybe it is a goal that even if our ruler isn't a fan of the military because of his low ability in that, he will look to, if the time is right, get the last Persian provinces, which are Isfahan and Yazd. So Yazd looking very close now, as is Isfahan. For now, we will support our Mazandrani friends in their conquests. And we have one fortress that is not yet protected. Cars. Yeah, let's actually act actually um, activate them all. Because it has been so so bad that we didn't activate them. <laughs> <laughs> that will now go forward and we also want to move back with these guys somewhere to the middle maybe of our country but we need to have a place that has a good supply limit otherwise we'll have such high Attritions and these also all have 24. This has 31. The coast is always good, right? 26. Shushtar could be such a place. Let's send them to Shushtar. They are close to both borders. And mm, we'll use these here as a backline and no will not grant anything to the Timurids. <laughs> and our heir is now a martial educator. 
yearly army tradition decay minus one. And it is quite possible that he also influences politics. And he's a man of the military now. And of diplomacy. A real Clausewitz. <laughs> a Clausewitz of Arabia. Also, we are watchful if we can one day focus on admin power because Pirbudak certainly wants that. And now being the... Now we, we're choosing a new Shaikul Islam because uh, he's new to the government and so he must choose which direction of faith he's going to support. So the Shaikul Islam, the... Hmm... The guardian of Islam in the land has to be chosen. And um, this will support the legalists, this will support the Sufi mysticists. And being like the, <laughs> the really pragmatic person that Pir Budak maybe is, he'll elect the most loyal Mufti to this position because that will help him with the sinner problem. Also disable the hints. Oh, Grane and Dash, Dashtistan is no longer a part of our realm. That is not very good. Ah! Korazan. What are you doing here? Oh my god. I need to up the army maintenance a bit. Otherwise we'll have big, big problems. They are... Are they marching quickly or what is that? No, they have a cannon with them. Oh, interesting. We've got relatively good morale now. They are moving to Samawat, and we'll move to Samawat as well. They are bound to move there. This is marsh terrain. And we are... Oh my god, we have lost the first roll terribly. Oh, the second roll too. Oh, how can this be? Ah! Come on, now. Now. The comeback. The Battle of Samawat. We have won it just so. Let's look at that. How much have we lost? Ooh, uh, not as much. Not as much as the Khorasani. They have lost a lot of their cannons. And ooh, Jahan Shah Hazan is now a defensive planner. And look at that. We have beaten them clearly. Let's move back to Baghdad and celebrate there a bit. What? Wait, 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 what? They are going back to... My god. What is this? Stop these guys. Ah, how could they, could they be... My god. They are back to 11k. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we have a victory. Mazendrani reconquest of Golestan. We have won. Ah, a separate piece with Transoxiana. And we get 271 of this amount. That must be heaven. So, Transoxiana can peace out for a ton of money. And reparations. Oh, that's really nice for us. And you know what we can do? He's surely aware of the importance of paying back loans, so... He will repay that loan now. 4% of interest. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, but... Got to do what you got to do. And now our cities demand old rights. 
Urban dwellers had always existed under a different code of rules than their rural brethren, even in the same state. Just as monarchs look to curb the privileges of nobles, they often try to bring cities under more uniform rules and regulations. The cities often resisted these efforts. Hmm. What should we do? Makes the state unstable in these times of war. To deny them their old rights. It will make us lose legitimacy if we accept this. We think we are a strong enough ruler. For now. We'll do the pragmatic decision of losing a bit of Losing a bit of legitimacy to to stabilize the country. And that's also a good thing. To stabilize the country is indeed something we should do. We'll boost stability as well. And we want to have harsh treatment for the Luristani separatists to eliminate their uh, immediate threat at during a war. That is... Just too much for us. What's going on there? Ah, oh, that, that's the Timurids that have come here. What is going on? They're also joining... No, they are going to Malamir. What is going on there? Oh, we have terrible roles, but still we prevail. Wow. What a win. They are bound to Malamir, and we can meet them there. Dran Shah Hazan is in heaven with his maneuvers right now. He's probably one of the most successful generals. Due to not only sheer luck, but also great movement on his side. Wow, look at that. <laughs> They're holding themselves well. But uh, ultimately defeat. They're going to Avaz. And we can... now we can catch them. There we go. The last of their army beaten. Our army will rest in Avaz. Corazani all down. Oh, look at that. There are rebels coming. Corazani noble rebels. We must stop them. We must end this war quickly. It's costing the states so much. The devil's in the details. No, the devil is in the Khorasani noble rebels. We must beat them. There's something coming again. A Khorasani army. Where do these armies come from? They come from somewhere from the Ottomans. It's really odd. Let's, let's march against them. Look at that. They're going around, they're everywhere, I don't know. Kara Yusuf Musafar, the cannoneer, and what do we have here? The defensive planner. Hmm... Maybe he's speeding up to Jahan Shah Hazan to gain, yeah, to get less damage in. And this army will use Kara Yusuf from Suffer for more cannon damage. Don't have many cannons yet, so it won't be that bad. What are they doing? They are they are arriving in Kumis. Well then we'll go to Tehran. 
go on. If this Jaunpur army is moving in there, then so be it. <laughs> there, Khorasani peasants. <laughs> this time is a glorious one. <laughs> And it has worked. The Mazandrani have... Wow! Gained a lot! Look at that! The Mazandrani reconquest of Golestan. Accepted peace with their former enemies Khorasan. Khorasan will cede Golestan, Balnod and Kumis to Mazandran. Cede Saidabad to Sistan and will pay... Yeah, we'll get a lot of money again. And uh, we're gaining prestige. And we gain a lot of favors. And Khorasan actually is in another war against Afghanistan, Jampur, and Ladakh. And we have too few rivals now. Hmm. <laughs> Which rival are we going to take? Now, it's clear that we have to consider this carefully. And our, our leader will also be someone to consider this carefully. Maybe talking with his heir, that is probably his cousin or his brother, he will talk this through with a military expert of uh, Pirbudak Karakoyundu. So, we'll look at it <laughs> in the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. May the black sheep be with you. Have a good time until then.